last section, we're talking about geometry and problem solving. The most important thing I want you to remember are these five steps. Understand, question, plan, solve, check. Understand, question, plan, solve, check. That means when you first encounter a problem, you don't immediately try to solve it. You go through a finger track reading, highlight, draw, label list, cross out. Then you ask yourself, what is the target question? Most importantly, you don't get paralyzed when you don't know what to do. You ask yourself, what can you do, not what should you do. And if you're stuck here, you can use the first page in your reference book called What to Do When You Don't Know What to Do. Okay, very important. Do not allow lack of understanding keep you from applying effort. Some things you can always do when you don't know what to do, you can trace and sweep angles, trace and sweep segment and lines. You can make sure you mark notations for things that are congruent, parallel, perpendicular. You finger block and shade, write out equations. Make sure your equations are two sides with an equal sign. Show all your work. When you work with equations, you want to do circle, plug, chug. You should box and label your answers. Watch your units. Okay, two primary equations you should be familiar with are perimeter. So I want you to just label length, length, width, width. Perimeter is like a picket fence. And this is for a rectangle. Perimeter, picket fence. Perimeter, picket fence. Say it. Perimeter, picket fence. Put your pencil here. Walk around the fence like so. Now, so perimeter, what it is, is we have two lengths, right? And two, two widths. And you simply, as you walk it around, you simply add them all. Okay, so there's a width and a length, a width and a length. Two lengths and two widths. We usually write it like this. Two lengths and two widths. If you forget that equation, just think walk around the picket fence. Area of a rectangle. This is like grass. So whenever you do area, I'd like you to get in the habit of just shading whatever you're doing. And of course, the basic area equation for rectangles is just the length times the width. And you write it like this, area equals length times width. You always give me two sides with a un equal sign. If you fail to put two sides with an equal sign, and let's say you just do this instead, you write area equals, excuse me, you don't write area equals, you give me the area equation as length times width, that will be marked wrong. That is not the area equation. Area equation is area equals length times width. Keep that in mind. Equations have two sides with a equal sign. 